More than 2.7 million Hoosiers are now considered fully vaccinated against COVID-19. Some employers are telling their workers they have to get the shot or they'll lose their jobs. That includes employees at the state's largest hospital system, IU Health. As George Hale reports, some employees say the U.S. Food and Drug Administration's emergency vaccine approval is not enough to make them feel safe. The district judge's ruling came the same day as health care workers and others showed up to a protest outside an IU Health building in Indianapolis. The ruling upheld the Texas hospital's vaccine policy, which is similar to IU Health's. IU Health is telling its employees they must get vaccinated by September if they want to keep their jobs. Some workers aren't happy about that, and they weren't the only ones who showed up at Saturday's rally to protest IU Health's requirements. It is being shoved down our throat. Indiana State Representative John Jacob touted his opposition to proposed bills in the state legislature to require proof of vaccination. We passed legislation to make sure that governments could not put a passport in place. IU health officials say vaccinating their employees is a safe and effective way to protect patients and reduce the spread of COVID-19. They also say employees can file for medical and religious exemptions to the vaccine requirement. The rally outside IU Health's Fairbanks Hall building made an impression on Derek Sauls, a maintenance worker at Riley Children's Hospital. It's all been said out here on the, uh, on the canal today. You know, three hours of speakers, and, uh, and that's, that's all the help I needed to make my final decision. Sauls says his father died of COVID-19, and he understands the virus is dangerous. He says part of the reason he opposes vaccination is he doesn't work with patients. And speakers at the rally convinced him of risks they believe are connected to the vaccine. And I'm not just some Republican kook. I'm not just some religious conservative right winger. I have severe concerns about my health after taking this, this vaccine. The Centers for Disease Control emphasizes that millions of people in the U.S. have received vaccines without incident. Health officials also say the risks of COVID-19 far outweigh potential side effects or complications from the vaccine. Still, according to polls, about a quarter of Americans say they won't get vaccinated. Health officials estimate that more than 13,000 Hoosiers have died from the virus. For Indiana News Desk, I'm George Hale.